Hey guys, what is up? Uh, this is one of my most asked questions ever. Uh, how do you set up your hatchlings once you get them? I mean, right out of the egg. So, what I am going to do is I have got a small tub. Let me see, what size is this? This is a six quart. This is a 1642 Sterilite tub. Uh, I had Animal Plastics make a design for my specific tub. They were happy enough to do that for me and now they sell it on their website because I have to go to Target for my tubs. Uh, I have an iris rack but I don't like it at all. I don't like the feet. They hit the tape, the heat tape and they get all messed up. So anyways, how do we set up a hatchling tub? I go ahead and take a select size paper towel. I take the half size, you know, the small size, fold it in half, hamburger, and then fold it again. You're gonna get hot dog because once you fold in half hamburger, it's a square. So then what I do is I take a Gen Pack 2 meat packing tray, put it on top, and I will go ahead and you're going to want to wet down your paper towel just a little bit, just enough to get a, get it kind of moist. I mean, you don't want it dripping wet. You don't want to turn this into a sauna, but just enough. So let's go ahead and grab our little, our little hatchling that we've got here. We have got our little baby that just came out and set it gently in there. Now you see how big this tub is for that little tiny gecko. In a couple of months this tub is going to be too small and we're going to have to upgrade to a 16 quart. Uh, one adult is fine in a 16 quart. Sometimes two breeding females if you do like a two females together forever that is more of a moderate to experienced keepers level to have two females at the same time in there. A lot of pro a lot of problems happen. But it's just great. I love these sterilite tubs. They've got the little wells on the sides and all of that stuff. So if you guys are just checking out then we're gonna try to go live here. So we're going live on our uh, Facebook page. I've never done this before, but as you can see, here we are. Um, this is the YouTube video for setting up a hatchling in a six quart tub. So yeah, I'm kind of double recording here. If you're watching this now, then you're watching it before everybody else, but you missed out on how I set up the tub. So here's our cool little uh, super snow hatchling that we've got. So you can't actually zoom in. You're live. We're building an audience for you. That's great. Good for you. Um, yeah, maybe we can just like come in like this. Uh, it's got some cool, cool little markings on it. Uh, white stripe kind of going down the back. Uh, not bad to hit on a super snow. Uh, the nose is kind of, let's try to get in here. Kind of got a little white nose with the bars, so it might be a total eclipse, but I'm not sure if that nose is going to be white enough. Let's see. Maybe I can go ahead and... Good, I got a screenshot of that. That's a really good shot right there. Look at those white bars on the nose. I wonder if I've got some like uh, sleeper white and yellow hanging in here because that's really curious. I'll have to check that out. Uh, see what my records show on whether or not I've got white and yellow hanging out in, in this stuff. I don't think I crossed that into the Total Eclipse stuff, but it's really... I mean, you can see the bars on the nose. And I've had a lot of super snows come out with bars, but just looking down the sides of the animal and how that white creeps up and the white going on the back, it's either going to be a total eclipse or it's a 
super snow with white and yellow. Which I, I'm gonna get, just say that it's probably a total eclipse because we didn't go for the whole white and yellow total eclipse thing, which would be a uh, universe. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the YouTube video. This is how we set up our hatchlings for about five to seven days. Usually, uh, he's done done with the video. This is a temp sex male, by the way. So, usually at about five days, we will have uh, food coming on strong. And uh, this year, we're going to see about uh, getting some clean crickets. Now, I know that a lot of people, you know, hate doing the whole cricket thing because of parasites and all that, but I'm going to try to find some clean crickets and kind of test out to see if they have a better feeding response. And let's just go ahead and, you know, while I ramble on, we can harass this little guy. You know, see if they get a better feeding response because I noticed with the mealworms and superworms, they just, you know, okay, I'm going to crawl over to my, my damn food bowl and, you know, check it out. But with the crickets, they actually have to go and work for it. So maybe that'll make them move around a little bit more and get get a leaner, cleaner animal out of it, not some big old fat gecko. So if I can find the clean crickets, then that would be really cool. But, uh, thanks, Kurt. I love this one. Super cool. Getting a bunch of likes, I guess. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check it out, uh, Thor Gecko on YouTube. It's going to go up tomorrow morning, probably, if you didn't catch the beginning of the video. I didn't go live on Facebook till about, you know, a couple minutes in after I explained how I set up the tub and what model the tub is and brand and all of that. And So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching on YouTube, guys. Uh, check out the Facebook thing. Maybe I'll do more live videos. I'm not sure. I mean, YouTube pays money for my videos. So I'm kind of getting up there to almost a 1,000 subscribers. And then I do fan funding and all that cool stuff. But check it out and let me know what you guys think. Uh, <laughs> the whole going live thing, that was my first time on Facebook, I got two likes and, you know, one comment, so, I don't even, I don't know, are those people, people that have liked my page? It's really weird, so, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and let me know what else you guys want to see. I got some demand for doing the whole live Facebook stuff, so, maybe we'll do live Facebook stuff on Late Night Leos, too, that would be pretty cool, just so people can see, like, the, uh, you know, the studio and stuff like that on the computer. I don't have an actual damn studio. I don't think, you know, anybody does. Maybe, uh, I know, uh, Chris at Empire State Reptiles Live, when I do that, he says he's got a studio that they rent out to do their stuff. So that's cool. I mean, sometimes people have to do that, rent out a studio with Wi-Fi and all that cool stuff because they don't have it at home. And, you know, the equipment, microphones, all that. I just do it from my phone with my Bluetooth. That way I can like flick my hands around and shake my head and nod a whole lot when I agree to things and smile and all that. And you know, I don't have to worry about holding the phone up to my head. So again, like, favorite, subscribe, share the video, share, share, share. Uh, we are going to do a little updates on these guys. Uh, each hatchling will get a monthly update. So hopefully it's at a one month mark. I know May 7th, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. can't remember what my calendar says, but I'm jam-packed until next year. So we'll try to get it monthly video updates on these little guys. And once again, this is a most likely a total eclipse. Uh, it is a male. This is officially my breeder male. Um, everybody else is sold. So unless I get something killer coming hatching out, because I did breed a bunch of my Total Eclipse Project stuff. Uh, if I get a better male, then that'll be the breeder male. But as far as right now, hatchling number one right out of the box is going to be my main main breeder that I'm going to hang on to. 
So, not a whole lot of white. It does have the bars on the nose and the white going down the back, so it's pretty interesting. I mean, a Super show Snow should be solid, so we'll see what happens. I'm not positive on that white and yellow <laughs> stuff, but I'll check the records and see if it's hanging around in there. I don't think it is, but again, you know, <coughs> ugh. super worms. That dust is killing me. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see y'all later.